Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and today I have brought a challenge from Pathfinder. This uh, t uh, The question also featured in a test in one of the coaching institutes uh, all India tests. So without much ado, let me straight away get into the question. Some of the students who are facing some problems, so that's why I decided to do a video on this one. Let's see. Okay. So here's the question. One end of a thin metal plate is uh, illuminated uh, by the sun so this is a metal plate and sunlight is coming from here Let me use some other color the sunlight is falling on this like this and then uh, the upper surface will attain some temperature and the lower surface will attain some temperature okay so we have to comment on uh, the temperature so what's the question when the air temperature is t naught the temperature of the illuminated side is t1 okay so uh, air temperature is T0 and this side temperature is T1 and that of the opposite side is T2. So on the other side the temperature is T2 on the back side. Okay. What will the temperatures of each side be if another plate of double the thickness is used? So instead of this plate suppose I had a plate of just double the thickness twice thickness. So we want to find out what will be the temperatures uh, let us say T1 prime and T2 prime. Uh, in terms of the given uh, quantity. So if you want you can give it a try. I will get into my solution. Let's see. Okay. So let's look at the heat transfers that are going on. See, uh, uh, one of the uh, faces is facing the sunlight and therefore sunlight is falling like this. And what is happening to the sunlight? A part of the sunlight is getting reflected back. Uh, you can say uh, either reflection in terms of uh, I mean uh, like uh, kind of geometrical optics kind of reflection or otherwise there will also be some kind of convection going on uh, and uh, uh, convection and uh, conduction and radiation everything is going on. So some heat is being lost to the atmosphere from the same side and then whatever is the remaining heat that will be conducted into the plate and will reach the other side of the uh, plate right. And again from the other side uh, there will be some kind of heat loss to the atmosphere through conduction, convection, radiation, everything. Okay. So now uh, I can uh, apply the conservation of energy. So let's see what we get by energy conservation. Uh, let me read out. So since the metallic plate is being heated in natural sunlight, we expect the temperature difference from surroundings to be small and we can assume Newton's law of cooling to be applicable. Okay. So let's say P is the incident power from the left side and now we can apply the energy balance. So whatever power is coming. So this side the rate of cooling is I mean the, the rate of heat loss is proportional to the temperature difference from the surrounding. So this side of the plate has temperature T1 and uh, then uh, uh, let's say proportionality constant is K for Newton's law of cooling. So uh, the rate of heat loss is K times T1 minus T0 to the surroundings from this side right. Because, uh, according to the Newton's law of cooling and plus whatever is being conducted so let's say thermal resistance of this is R so the heat that is going from left face to the right face is T1 minus T2 bar so this is simple energy balance uh, equation whatever heat is received the same amount is communicated either on the same side or across the plate right okay uh, generally we uh, in Newton's law of cooling the constant is written in term, terms of rate of uh, temperature loss but we can also uh, kind, uh, kind of write the proportionality in terms of heat loss. So here when I am writing K, it's related to the rate of heat loss and not rate of temperature loss, right? Uh, so and of course uh, uh, the rate of heat loss is proportional to rate of temperature loss if the body were cooling but here the steady state is at, at, uh, attained. So this is the proportionality constant for Newton's law of cooling. K is the appropriate constant considering Newton's law of cooling and R is the thermal resistance of the block, okay? So this is the equation one. And similarly, I can apply the energy balance equation on right hand side. So right hand side is receiving some energy through conduction and then it is uh, uh, giving out to the atmosphere according to Newton's law of cooling. So what is the received energy that is T1 minus T2 by R. R is the thermal resistance that should be equal to K times T2 minus C0. Since uh, situations are identical left side area, right side area are same and surrounding temperature are same. So we expect the same constant of Newton's law of cooling, right? So uh, this is the energy balance on the right hand side. Now what happens, what things change when I use the double thickness plate. So if I use the double thickness plate essentially instead of thermal resistance being R, the thermal resistance gets doubled. So thermal resistance will become 2, 2R and now I will be calling these uh, variables as T1 prime and T2 prime. Okay. So primed uh, variables correspond to the double thickness of the uh, plate. Okay. 
so let's see so now when the thickness of the block is doubled the thermal resistance is doubled so we replace r by 2r thus writing the similar equations for this block so uh, p will be equal to k times t1 prime minus t0 okay so this is the heat loss from the uh, left side see t instead of t1 just i have put t1 prime and similarly this term will become t1 prime minus t2 prime divided by 2r so that's what i have done so t1 prime minus t2 prime divided by 2r okay so that gives me third equation similarly what happens to the equation 2 so instead of uh, this r it will become 2r and this will become t1 prime t2 prime t2 prime and t0 okay so this is what the modification i have made uh, for equation 2 so and that gives me equation 4 so t1 prime minus t2 prime divided by 2r that's the energy received through conduction is equal to energy lost according to newton's law of cooling on the right hand side okay so now uh, i have four equations and now i need to do some mathematical manipulation to get a desired answer okay so uh, you see this is also p and uh, this is also p so i can equate the rhs of both these sides and if you do that you get equation number 5 okay so now uh, you see uh, equation 5 i am getting a k over here and r over here and similarly here i am getting a k in equation 4 and r over here in equation 3 also k here and uh, 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 yeah sorry in equation number 2 also k here and r over here so what i can do instead of ha handling with uh, handling so many unknowns i can multiply each of these equations by r and then consider rk as one variable called x okay so that's what i have done i have multiplied this equation by r similarly i have multiplied third equation rather not third equation fourth equation by 2r and then uh, fifth equation again i have multiplied by 2r and re uh, and put to uh, rk as x so that's what I've done and uh, then I get a simplified equation. So instead of dealing with R and K separately, RK becomes a single variable. So what, let's put uh, RK as X instead of 2 RK, I had put RK as X. RK as X and rearrange the equation. So if you do that, this is what you will get. So wherever I'm getting an RK product, I'm writing that as X. So 2 prime, 4 prime and 5 prime are the new equations that we get. If you put RK as X. And if you look at these three equations, what are the unknowns? The unknowns are T1 prime, T2 prime and X. There are three unknowns and we have three equations. So now it's a simple matter of elimination and substitution to solve for T1 prime and T2 prime. So uh, that I've done, I've not shown all the dirty work here. So, uh, but it's a simple set, you can solve it. It's just bull work, that's all. So if you solve that, so now, uh, now eliminating and substituting, you get X is equal to T1 minus T2 upon T2 minus T0. This was not asked, so I didn't put it in a rectangle. And T1 prime, this was asked, so T1 prime is this expression that you get, this longish expression, don't feel like reading it. And T2 prime is this longish expression, okay. So that's our final answer. And that was uh, the challenge for today. I hope you enjoyed the challenge and you liked the solution. And if you, if you enjoyed the challenge and solution, please do give a thumbs up to my video. And please share this video as much as possible through WhatsApp, Telegram, discord or whatever medium you might be using uh, for networking with your fellow students uh, who are preparing for je or olympiads and most importantly if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that is what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you